Hey you guys, let me get my likes together. I know y'all thinking, why don't, why don't she has it together before she starts filming? Because I just didn't, okay? So I'm putting on a little bit more lipstick. I'm wearing this matte glam by Milani. And that's all the makeup she gonna do today. <laughs> that's about it. Uh, I look shiny as hell, but my skin is clearing up. Get some tea. The weather has changed here. It is cooler. And, um... I'm gonna tell you what, Phoenix people are weird as hell. I mean, once it drops under 80 degrees, they bring out, girl, they, they have on scarves, mittens, gloves. I'm like, it's just 79, what are you doing, sis? So right now, it actually is cool, it's 65, of a high of 65, but that's still not cold to me. But these people are like, they wouldn't look. When I dropped off JP today at school, they wouldn't allow the kids to play outside because it's too cold, so they have all the kids in the gym. And it was probably 59. I appreciate that to keep the babies in the warm. <clears throat> and it was certain age groups, excuse me, fourth grade and under. That's okay. But I'm like, this is the perfect weather for kids to be outside, but whatever. All right, y'all, let me cut to the chase today. I will be retwisting my hair because I just got finished reviewing the Lottie Body. We like the body. The Lottie Body products. And so I'm going to be retwisting my hair using kinky tresses if you're interested in these products i do have a review on them one of the best products i have used to date for twist out i'm not even saying that just to be this is bomb.com especially this coconut mango hair butter absolutely love this very thick and i've been using this off and on since i purchased the um the products um yeah this is a lot of body and i knew she wouldn't hold up because i it's not necessarily that i did this on blown out hair um i didn't use enough products but that's okay i was i got the look i was aiming for and that's all that matters right so but yes look at that girl all that body that's a cute hairstyle i'm serving you 80s pop that's cute huh so but we can't go around like that because she will throw out um it's really useless to do a part on, on my hair because you can't even see when I part my hair because you can't even see my scalp. So I'm just going to go ahead and section off my hair. Yeah, I have a couple of things I, I want to talk about, but you know how it is, girl. I start talking and we go down that rabbit hole and I absolutely love this time of the year. I love fall. I love Hallmark and Lifetime movies. <laughs> Christmas, y'all know who I was last year. Um, I was fit to be tied, girl, because they were playing Christmas movies because it was Christmas in July on Hallmark. And you know, I just love this feeling this of family, togetherness, and I just love it. Now, I'm not here for all the pumpkin spice. Have y'all been seeing all this foolery? I saw it starting a month ago, pumpkin spice, pumpkin spice cereal. I don't even like pumpkin spice lattes. I used to be on that kick a couple of years ago, but I don't even drink coffee from Starbucks anymore. Um, I'll have their tea now. Now I used to be, a, and you know, definitely would drink their coffee, but it's too overpriced. I can get four cups for the price of one there at home. So y'all, let me hush up and put my hair up, section it off. Hell, it's cute just like this. Um, so, girl in these YouTube streets. So I saw, I don't know, what has been going on with YouTube as far as notifications? Because I know a couple of months ago, I've seen you guys complain about it. Well, let me, let me back up. Last year, YouTube unsubscribed me from, from some people. Unless I had a moment where I was upset and just started unsubscribing from a lot of people. But no, YouTube unsubbed me from a couple of people. Not a lot, like four or five. Then I stopped getting notifications or I stopped seeing people's videos. And I don't know if, if I don't know how, you know, everything works on YouTube. Even as a content creator, I don't know. I don't attend those meetings. I don't be reading any of the blogs or anything like that. I guess my point is I was not seeing videos of people whom I was subscribed to. It could be two or three, four videos they have posted, and I don't see those videos. And those videos are getting traffic, so I'm wondering why I don't have these on my playlist. I feel like I should be able to see, you know, if someone posts a new video, even if I don't have the notification. So, at this point, 
I go ahead and click that notification bell if I definitely want to see someone's videos because it's not guaranteed. You know what I mean? So, Border Hammer is back. I had no idea. And I'm so upset because I'm a huge fan of hers. I started watching her back when I was wearing wigs because uh, she would do wig reviews. Those you don't know, it's her name is Border Hammer. And she's mostly known for her wig reviews, but she's she's very random. Um, she talks about personal life, her family life, um, uh, wig reviews, makeup. She has great, impeccable fashion sense. Woman, she's in her mid 40s. She has um, older children, which I appreciate. But yeah, I missed two of her videos, and she's back, and she's been posting. And that video is a month was a month ago, and I just. I just got it as a suggestion after watching someone else's video. I'm like, but this video is a month old. Why am I just not seeing this in my suggestion feed? So anyway, um, and this was last night, so I didn't get the chance to go back and watch her video. But I definitely, I like her, I really do now. She did, I know I'm gonna come up with a little bit of, not drama, but I'm just gonna keep it real. She did have one video that got a lot of, not a lot, some backlash. Now, let me know if y'all remember this and I may get things a little confused because it's been a while. But basically, overall, the video, I believe it was an advice video and I think it was either one of her subscribers or someone she knows was looking for advice on how to approach the situation. The young lady believed she was either dating someone or she knows someone who had contracted an STD. And this is the thing that tripped me out about Border Hammer is that she was so surprised that people still have unprotected sex. Cause she was like, people still doing that in, in this in 2000, it was like 2002, people still doing this in 2015? We're like, uh, yeah, that's why we got babies and people getting STDs. Cause yes, people still have unprotected sex with multiple people still. Yes, girl. So she was just still shocked about that. Um, but overall, let me get to the point. Basically this person was saying whether or not asking in the letter whether or not she should let another woman know that sh that her boyfriend or someone she's dating has an STD and I want to say was it AIDS you guys was it AIDS and so and let me know in the comments those y'all who remember that video let me know and so she wrote back or Border Hammer basically said she doesn't think she should tell the girl anything Oh, baby, the backlash that she got on that video. Oh, they served it to her. They they handed Rochelle, because I think her name is Ro Rochelle. Is her name Rochelle? They handed her everything, let her know that that, that, that was horrible advice. Um, she should let the girl know, because I think she knows the girl, okay? The person that's dating this guy that has AIDS or HIV. I can't remember what it was. Um, and I want to say that she posted another video apologizing and she since took down both of those videos. But yeah, yeah, I don't know about that. I didn't say anything. I was just looking back, looking at her getting dragged. I'm like, oh my gosh. I wouldn't say they necessarily dragged her. People were very, um, very PC about it, you know, their approach. Because she's like that too. She never comes off as being very demeaning or anything like that. Um, but yeah, no, you, if I knew someone, if I had a friend and I knew that she was dating someone who legit had, oh yeah, I'm letting her know. Absolutely. You could be potentially, you could be potentially saving her life and other people's lives. So anyway, overall, I'm glad that she's back and I do appreciate her videos and her knowledge that she has. What else, what else, what else, girl? <laughs> I'm already laughing. Let me stop y'all. I am silly. This is why I laugh a lot in my videos because I'm silly as hell. Um, I know I'm late talking about this, but y'all, Benny, Benny Harlem, y'all, this has been going on for quite a while, apparently, and those of you who don't know, Benny Harlem is this, um, younger gentleman, African-American gentleman who has long, beautiful hair, supposedly, right? And... I used to see some of his pictures come up on Instagram because of course they showed, they're shared all over on Instagram and all this. And I think he has made the Guinness Book of World Records for the highest style. Keyword, highest style. Now my girl Avon Douglas has made it for the largest afro. Y'all know Avon, I love her. Um, she's all over on Instagram and stuff like that. But 
Benny. So Benny has decided that he's gonna take advantage of all you helpers looking for waist length long hair and at any cost possible. So Benny decided that he's gonna package up and make his own hair products and call it, what did he call it y'all? These veggie, green veggie hair kits. All I see are cucumbers and grapes and applesauce or some shit. So let me read you, this was way back in August. So yeah, it's been a while. Let me read you this, <laughs> this post he did in August. August 28th is when it's dated. And apparently he's going all the way to the motherland to gather ingredients to make y'all kits. So let me read it for y'all. I was bitten by a viper snake while in Ethiopia farming and acquiring ingredients for the green veggie hair kits. There was no anti-venom medication available at the facility I was transported to and I was told the bite, the bite was non-venomous. I was shocked to find out I was very close to not making it when I returned to the US a few days ago. Deadly venom was actually very present in my system. I was in the middle of an interview with Photoshop, blah, blah, blah. So sis, you going all the way to Ethiopia in the farmland, you got uh, bit by a viper, to gather these ingredients, y'all. This is the irony of all of this. You have to see what he said. He was bit by a viper while looking for ingredients to make y'all's foolery kits. He's, no, he's literally selling you snake oil, right? And I have mentioned this in quite a few of my videos. There is not one product that is going to make your hair miraculous, miraculously grow. Now, yes, there may be some growth pills or there may be some type of hair oil, but one thing that a lot of those um, those products have or nutrients. So if your butt was eaten correctly, eaten properly, your hair, nail, skin would flourish. You ever notice that vegetarians, the ones that do it good, vegetarians and vegans have beautiful skin, beautiful hair, because it shows up, they're getting the, the right amount of nutrients for their body, y'all. So, oh, it gets even better, baby. You know how much he's selling these kits for? Or he was selling them for? $399. 300 and How much is that Onyx box a month? <laughs> what the hell? 300 and What the hell is in these kits? So now he has reduced it to 299. And this is what's so crazy about it. Those kits sold out so fast. I mean, there are so many women who are dying to get long hair that they would just buy any and everything. So anyway, this is the real key key. This is what really makes it funny and interesting. He's scamming on multiple levels. Not, first of all, apparently he's been going to Kroger's buying up jars of honey and Kraft Ranch sauce and di <laughs> been dipping out the bottles. He doesn't even have the, you know, the professionalism to buy his own bottles. He gonna go to Kroger's, pour out all the honey out those bottles, remove the labels and slap his own lab labels on there, pour in some maple syrup and put sprinkle some leaves on top, pine cones or whatever type of foolery. Here's your, here's your hair growth kit or what did he call it, your green veggie kit. Child, I would never, you would never sing. Let me tell you something. I think the most I've ever spent on a hair product was like $20. I think, it may not even have been that, like close to 20, it was $20 with tax, put it like that. $399? No, not even having it. So he sold out on that. When he shares these videos of, excuse me, these images of his hair, it is neatly uniformed. Natural hair is, is not as neatly done. Nobody's hair is that perfect. Even when Avon Douglas, Douglas, Avon Douglas, who's has a big beautiful fro, when she set, shares pictures of her fro, you can see in some areas, um, well, how do I say, you can see through some certain areas. With his, you, you can't. Let me tell you what you can do to get that type of hair. Enroll in the nearest community college and take you a class in Adobe Photoshop. <laughs> He's photoshopping that hair. He's photoshopping the step baby's hair because from what I understand it, that's not even his daughter. That's the woman that he's with daughter. That's not his child. Um, he's photoshopping his cheeks, his nose. You know, you can do all of this, but don't sit up here and say that you grew all this hair and this is all your hair. The foolery, it's our fault. Come on now, y'all. 
We don't want to do the work. We want to buy something. It's the same thing when it comes to even diet pills. We don't want to do the work. We don't want to be consistent. We don't want to have any type of discipline when it comes to eating right. We just want to buy something, a quick fix. Doesn't matter at, at any cost, you know. So yeah, same thing with hair products. I'm <laughs> just like, there's something, I get some type of weird energy from him anyway. I can only look at his pictures too so long and I feel like, you know how you, you look at those illusion pictures in one minute and you're like, is that a, um, two people looking at each other or a vase? So I'm... <laughs> That's how I feel like what I, I feel like I'm looking at an optical illusion when I'm looking at his pictures too long. So enough about that, y'all. So the other day I got a text message from one of my friends. She was asking me, you know, how do I feel about oversharing on social media? And if Alex, who is my husband, husband, I call him Alex. That's not his name. But um, if Alex ever shares too much, uh, is that gray hair? It sure is. Okay, y'all, sorry. <laughs> um, anyway, I'm gonna retwist this one because I'm not liking it at the roots. I was like, oh, there's no oversharing. There actually there's no there's no Facebook. My husband does not have a Facebook page. The only thing that I know my husband, and I'm not saying he doesn't I look, I'm not that controlling. He's just not on there. I know he has a Twitter account, we follow each other, but I'm not really on I'm not on Twitter. So he's not on Facebook, he's not on Instagram. Um, and he's on Twitter for political stuff. So and he retweets stuff and he follows people over in his country, you know, Ethiopia. So he's not sh over sharing anything. And he sure as hell doesn't share anything about our uh, personal lives. I mean, I don't even think he has his picture on his profile. He has something else. He has a flag or some shit, girl. No, not happening. So she was saying her husband is constantly oversharing, whether it be pictures of them everywhere um uh comments about where they're at financially i'm like okay you know what that's too much that's way too much and i know people who do that i see people look it is your page you can do whatever you want but at a certain point what is enough is enough and i know y'all have friends that are like that and i just girl i will control all delete in a minute and just log off um my mama is like that She'll show all the type of, my daddy does not like it. She'll show pictures of all in the hospital. Here's my discharge papers. Here's the medication I gotta get. And I'm like, you sharing too much. And honestly, Facebook is not what it is. Facebook, in my opinion, is not what it was created to be. I think at this point, it's a data gathering tool. You think you're up there sharing stuff with your friends? What y'all don't know is that there are third party applications in place to literally capture everything that you are posting. And I know this because I used to work for a company that was doing it. Um, and that's all I'm gonna say about that. <laughs> but I would be very careful, especially if you're talking about anything political. Um, I would be very careful what I say. On social media and that's not being you know your tenfold hat you don't have to do all that but just be mindful of what you put on social media and plus a lot of people live for that you know a lot of your so-called friends are just waiting for the drama to explode and on the page there's just some people who are like that so yeah no be careful and be mindful about that yeah i don't share anything my husband even thinks that i share too much on my youtube channel yeah he was fit to be tired when i told y'all that he hit my car I'm like, I just told my subscribers. I didn't tell, I didn't make a Facebook post. I didn't even, seriously, I didn't even do that. I didn't make a Facebook post. I just told about 16,000 people. <laughs> I said, not all of them watch my videos. That video had like 500 clicks. And some of y'all probably watched it several times. So, or maybe, you know, twice, not several times. So I'm like, your yeah, girl, he was, yeah, he was like, nah, you don't need to, because I also told my mama and my best friend and my sister. So. <laughs> <laughs> but I guess my point is that I wasn't oversharing. I wasn't making a post about it on social media. I don't do that when it comes to anything like that. And one thing that I really think people need to do, and I don't know, there's someone I know, and she's another YouTuber, and she's also on my Facebook. Um, she's on my friends list, and I would not. If I'm getting into a new relationship with someone, don't put that person on social media at all. Wait, I, I would say wait for about seven or eight months. Is that straight, y'all? No, but who cares? I will wait for a couple of months. Not even that. 
Like I, y'all, y'all see, I don't show my husband because some people are just looking for drama. Don't be showing anyone that you're freshly dating. Do not put them on social media in any form. Hell, don't even tell people until y'all get serious who you're dating. If you want to do that, yes. But I find that the less people know, the better. Let me tell you, because when you start having issues, because you are, because everyone has issues. That's just how it is. No one's perfect. When you start to have issues, and if you start talking about it, some people will feed on that. Okay, so. I mean, like I said, do what you want, but I've learned in my 38 years on this earth that it's best to not overshare, you know, overshare things. And just because you're not sharing everything does not mean that there's something going on. Because that's another thing that people think that, well, her marriage, there's must, there must be something wrong if she's not sharing. No, there's not. It's actually pretty good, girl. Yeah, it's good over here. So, <laughs> um, I need to hair it with my hair and, um... These are gonna be long. Now I'm not, look how shiny it is right now. Look at that. Very, very, what the hell is this? Oh. Uh, <laughs> All right, you guys, so that is it for this chit chat. I'm gonna go ahead and hurry up with my hair. And that's it, y'all. Leave a comment, like, subscribe if you're new. I will see y'all next week. Bye.